it's my new uniform. It's okay. I'm in postpartum life and I feel good and I look good and I feel comfortable and that's all that's needed. <laughs>
Amazon and I really like that as well. So I'll definitely have those linked down below. They definitely get the job done and I love them. So I'm sure that you guys will love them as well. The second thing that is on my list of newborn essentials is a good baby carrier. My favorite carrier is definitely hands down the Soli Baby Wrap. Now, I was skeptical of getting this baby rack because when I was seeing it all over social media and blowing up on my Instagram feeds, I was like, there's no way that I'm going to spend $65 for one baby wrap. So what I did was, is I went on my Facebook buy, sell trade page and I actually found one, a gal who was selling hers and she sold it to me for 25 bucks. And let me tell you, that was the best $25 I've spent. I have a Moby wrap, a baby Catan, and like a generic baby wrap. And none of those compare to the Soli baby wrap. The fabric is so soft and breathable and cozy, and it doesn't make me hot and sweaty, and it doesn't feel like I just have a bunch of layers on. It just feels like you're one in one with your baby. And I just love it so, so much. I bring this thing with us everywhere we go, especially in the beginning. Um, when I would go out with the baby because I didn't really want to carry the car seat and I also feel like when I have a baby in the car seat strangers and people are more susceptible to come up and want to like see the baby and ask to look at it whereas when I'm having the baby on my chest I feel like people keep like a good safe distance from us so I really like that I also just love the closeness of baby wearing and I'm just kind of obsessed with the solely baby wrap I would definitely recommend finding a baby wrap that works for you However, I will just say the Soli Baby Wrap has won me over and I have actually ordered a few more from their website because I couldn't find any more on the buy, sell, trade pages. But if you are curious, I would recommend definitely looking to find one maybe secondhand and going that route because it is a little bit of an expense. But honestly, I think the quality is so good and the name kind of speaks for itself as far as the comfortability of it and just how amazing it is. So the next thing that I have on my list is going to be a portable sound machine. Now I have this one. This is the My Baby Sound Machine and I got this as a gift actually at my baby shower but I'll have the Amazon link down below and I really love this because my baby loves hearing like the heartbeat sounds and there's several different sounds on this so I'll just play some. Let's see. This is the one that we use all the time is the heartbeat sound at night. Whoops. You guys hear it yeah and you can adjust the volume up or down and then it's got the rain or the white noise it's got a beach sound it's got regular music and I like this as well because it does have a timer right here so you can set the timer for like 15 minute increments 30 minute increments or 45 minutes and after that time period it will automatically shut off the batteries in this thing have lasted so long. I cannot tell you how many times we have left this playing all night long in the bassinet next to our bed, just on this heartbeat mode. And the batteries have not died in this thing yet. I also like that it has this little handle right here so you can hang it on the top of like your crib railing or maybe on the top of your car seat or stroller if you're out. This is a must have if you have a baby who really enjoys like sounds. I know a lot of newborns are used to hearing like the womb sounds, so I think that this is just awesome. So my number four thing that I have on here is going to be my baby lounger. Now we use something called the Leech Co Podster and actually we were gifted this and it's pink. I know it's so crazy, it's pink. I think I'm on baby number three, you guys, so like I don't really care. We're not gender specific. I'm not needing the baby to have every single thing in the world that's blue and green and masculine. Uh, we were gifted this, and I just think it was such a good find. Like I love it way more than I love our boppy. It's nice and big and plush, and baby boy loves being in there. Sometimes I'll just throw a blanket over it if I want to like take a photo or something, and I don't want people thinking like, why am I putting my son in pink? Um, we don't really care. I mean, we're just kind of like going with the flow. We're trying to be nice and budget friendly. We didn't want to cash out on like a hundred dollar Docatot or Snuggle Me or whatever when we got this one. It works just as great. And there is replacement covers that I've been looking at getting. So I just think that having a good baby lounger is so essential. I can plop this thing up on my dining room table, on my couch, in my bed, pretty much anywhere I want. And I know that baby is safely in there and he's nice and cozy and comfortable. So I definitely recommend doing your research, looking for a baby lounger because it is going to come in the clutch when you're just holding your baby 
you need to put them down for a minute or you want them to relax somewhere safe, you can put them in their baby lounger. So I definitely recommend the Leech Co. Podster. I'll have that link down below for you guys. It's a nice affordable option. If you're looking for something on Amazon, it can be purchased there. And I just think that it's great and it gets the job done for sure. And my last thing on the newborn essential list that I have for you guys is definitely going to be a really good tracking app. Tracking apps are so essential in the beginning, especially if you're like you're breastfeeding or anything like that. This specific one that I use is awesome because I used it when I was nursing in the beginning so I would know exactly how long he was nursing on which side. I could switch from right side to left side. I would know how many ounces of supplement I fed him. I could include that in there as well. I could also track how much I was pumping throughout the day, how many wet diapers he had, how many poopy diapers he had. There's so many cool options with this tracking app, you guys, and it's free download. So I'll definitely have that listed down below. And I just think that a good tracking app is essential, especially in the beginning, because you're wanting to kind of like establish like patterns or kind of like know your baby a little bit better. Also, you just wanna keep track of, you know, how many wets and dirty diapers they're having, because I find that pediatricians ask that a lot. If you go and see a lactation consultant, they're gonna to wanna to know that kind of information. And it's kind of just good for you too, because there are averages. So you'll be more equipped with the knowledge if you think for whatever reason, your baby's not like gaining weight, or if they're not having enough wet diapers throughout the day, or if they're kind of dehydrated, you can kind of know that with breastfeeding there's so many different like unknowns because you're not exactly sure how much they're getting because you can't physically see it or weigh it so having a good tracking app is awesome also we use an app called the wonder weeks app and i love this app so far it actually tells you when the babies are going through their leaps or different developmental um, patterns and things like that it helps you to know when your baby is going through like something like a more fussy period or if they're kind of developing like a different cognitive feature or something like that it tells you like all of the different signs and symptoms that your babies might be experiencing during that time and it gives you a reason why your baby is all of a sudden really fussy when they were really calm and happy like just a few days ago and it gives you that peace of mind of knowing that this is totally normal this is what's going on in their development at this stage and this is what you can do to help them and I just love the Wonder Weeks app I feel so much more prepared this time for like my baby's sudden like four week regression in their overall demeanor and it's just been awesome. So I definitely recommend getting a good tracking app, definitely downloading the Wonder Weeks app. Wonder Weeks app is not free. It was like five bucks or something like that, but it's totally worth it. So those are my top five things for newborn essentials. So I hope that you guys like that. And I'm going to now talk about my top five essentials for the postpartum period for moms. And this is really exciting, so. Let's get right on into it. I did film for you guys a postpartum kit and I have that posted so I will have that linked up in the cards above so you can definitely see everything that I have in my postpartum kit. I'm not gonna mention any of those for the postpartum period because I did already film a video on it and I used everything in that kit and that is all definitely needed for that for the postpartum period and I used everything in that kit. I would definitely recommend all of the products that I had listed in that video so I'm not gonna necessarily talk about the postpartum bathroom items. Okay you guys, so the first thing that I have on my list for the postpartum essentials for mom is going to be some nursing bras. This is essential if you are going to be nursing your baby. You're definitely going to want to stock up on some good old nursing bras and these are awesome. I got this in a five pack from Amazon. They're really nice and cozy. They have no underwire. I know that some people can wear the underwires in their nursing bras. Um, however, my lactation consultant recommended not doing that. It's really bad for your milk supply. So I just got these regular kind of loungy ones. They're really nice and comfortable. They're stretchy, they're soft. They have like the little inserts on the inside here and they just clip down nice and easily. So when you're like in the middle of the night, Boop, just pops right off. It's so easy, but I definitely recommend investing in several of these nursing bras. Similarly, I did pick up a pack of nursing tank tops as well. And this material is really nice and soft and stretchy. And I also got these from Amazon and I love this. This is so cozy. I just like throw these on in the middle of the night. I can sleep in these or I can wear them. Um, so that when I'm out, I can just bloop, easily feed baby and definitely need this. 
So the next thing that I have is going to be a pair of good high-waisted leggings. I did find this brand on Amazon and let me just tell you, these are the most comfortable leggings I have ever had in life and I'm not even kidding. Like the material is so soft, they're like velvet butter. They remind me of LuLaRoe leggings but without the price tag attached to those, so that's nice. This is what they look like or this is like one pair. So I really like the stitching on this. It's nice and comfortable. There's no pockets or anything, um, but I like it because there's not like some kind of weird band in here. They don't roll funny or anything like that. They wash really well. And again, they're just so soft. Like I love these. So I'll definitely have this listed down below. I got these in Amazon. They're the full leg length. And I definitely recommend you get a nice pair of high waisted leggings because you're gonna be like in bed, lounging around the house, and the last thing you want to do is have any kind of uncomfortable pants, especially if you like had a C-section or any stitching and you're like recovering or anything like that. You're just going to want to wear something really nice and soft. I like that these help keep me kind of tucked in, but they're not like too constrictive. And I just really love these. So get yourself a good pair of high-waisted leggings. I love these and I live by them. It's like my new mom uniform. I just wear like a nursing tank top, high-waisted leggings, nursing bras, and like these little nursing um, shirts that I actually have on right now from Amazon. It's my new uniform, it's okay. I'm in postpartum life and I feel good and I look good and I feel comfortable and that's all that's needed. So the next thing that I have that you're gonna need postpartum is a good water cup. I use these water cups from Starbucks and this is, geez, how many ounces is this even? 24 ounces, Jesus, you would think I couldn't even like see today. Okay, but this is a 24 ounce cup. I try and drink like four or five of these a day. I could strive to drink more, but honestly, I just can't even. But I do find that I drink more water when I keep this filled up and at my nightstand or like with me at all times. So it is essential, especially if you're breastfeeding. Even if you're not breastfeeding, like you just need to stay hydrated. The postpartum period can just really take a lot out of you. So it's really important that you stay up on your water and your fluid intake. So I definitely drink a lot of these a day and I attribute all of my water drinking to having a water cup that holds ice, um, and I love this water cup. You can definitely get one that's insulated as well that helps keep drink, drinks cool really long. I know some people live for their Yetis, but I like this because it fits in my car's uh, drink holder and it's not as heavy and clunky as like a Yeti or anything like that. And I just, I love it. This is okay for me and I love it. The next thing that I recommend for your postpartum period is definitely going to be a snack bin. I know a lot of these things that I'm recommending right now are for if you are a nursing postpartum mom and that's just because that's what I'm doing right now. So a lot of these things might feel like they're catered to or tending towards women who are nursing. So I'm sorry if it feels like I'm excluding postpartum moms who necessarily aren't going that route, but that's just kind of like what is working for me. So these are things that I feel like are essential for like my own postpartum period. So that's why I'm sharing them with you guys. So sorry if it feels like I'm excluding moms who aren't nursing and if these things like don't really pertain to you because you're not nursing um, but anyways I mean we all need water and like comfortable leggings and stuff like that but this next thing is a snack bin that I keep on the side of my bed and what is in this snacks of course um, so in the middle of the night when I wake up and I'm nursing my baby I find that I'm ravishing usually so I like to keep like granola bars different little snacks in here so I've got this bag with like crackers, different types of granola bars, and sometimes I'll keep like clementine oranges in here or whatever I think will last upstairs in my bedroom on the side of my bed. And this is just perfect for when I'm hungry in the middle of the night, need this. I got this cute little woven basket at Target for just a couple dollars and I keep it by my bed stand and it has just been awesome for whenever I am nursing and a little hungry. You can also keep important nursing things in here like breast pads, lanolin. I have an extra set of pumping supplies for while I'm in between pumping, like if I pump once, then I have a clean set that I can do after if it's like the nighttime pump sesh. So this is just great. Take this down in your kitchen, fill it up with your snacks, bring it up, 
it's awesome. The last thing that I think is essential for the postpartum mama is developing a routine and some sort of self-care. Now, I know that in the beginning stages of having a baby, like what's a routine? Like you're up all night, you're not sleeping, you're dealing with a cranky, tired baby, your boobs are probably full, sore, wet, <laughs> you probably haven't showered much, <laughs> um, and you barely have time to like eat and think, let alone develop some kind of routine. But let me tell you, it is so essential to leave out a little bit of time for yourself. As a new mom, and as a mom in general, even if you're not a new mom, if you're a mom for like the fifth, sixth, or ninth time, having some time to yourself each day is so critical and so essential to your well being and like your overall just mental health. I can't stress it enough. For me, my routine looks something like this. So after my morning um, breastfeeding session, which is normally between five and 6 a.m., I know that the baby's gonna go back to sleep and before the rest of my family wakes up and my daughter wakes up, I try and get up and I get in the shower. And just having like this 10 minute shower to myself and getting myself ready for the day, like getting myself dressed, like doing my hair, slicking the edges, you know, getting my clothes on. I just feel like I'm set up and so much more prepared for the day. And I like to go downstairs if I have time, make myself a cup of coffee and just kind of get myself situated for the day. Like maybe write out a few things that I need to do, but I know just having like this half an hour to myself before the rest of my family wakes up is so critical for me when I miss that or when I oversleep for whatever reason and then I can't shower until the baby takes its like mid morning nap. It just kind of throws off my day. So I really like to make sure that I don't miss that time and opportunity and that I just take care of myself. Like I know having a shower is like what, that's not self care, but for me it is so per important. And I, I ask of you to find something in your day that's all for you that you can be uninterrupted hopefully you have like support of your partner or your family or something like that to just encourage you to take a few minutes each day to yourself it will just help you so much and you know getting on a routine as soon as you can just kind of helps me I know that things are really unpredictable when you have a baby but it's just so nice to have some kind of resonance of routine when you're thrown into the chaos of new mama hood and postpartum life so that's it for you guys. That's everything that I recommend. Those are my five essentials for newborn life and my five essentials for postpartum mom. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're coming over from Taylor's channel, hey, drop a line for me down below. Let me know that she sent you over so I can introduce myself and get to know you guys a little bit better. I love all my new subscribers thank you guys so much for supporting this channel i really hope that you guys will go over to taylor's channel watch her video like her video and let her know that i sent you and also let me know if there's anything that you guys thought was essential for your newborn life or your postpartum essential life i love hearing from other moms like what they thought was super important because who knows i might be having more kids in the future we haven't quite decided yet so i might need to add some things to my list for next time thanks so much for checking out this video guys i hope you have a great rest of your day bye